is fine. So let, let's so let us start with the uh, snowflake definition. So so what is snowflake? Snowflake is the snowflake is the cloud data warehouse. Cloud data warehouse which is built on top of three cloud providers, which is built on top of three cloud providers. So what is this meaning cloud data warehouse? What is this meaning traditional data warehouse? The cloud data warehouse is please increase the volume. Huh? Mm -hmm. Guys, is this problem with anyone? Uh, everyone or uh, so I have hundred percent here. Hello. So okay. everyone can able to poor voice or uh, any specific one. Guys, you are able to hear me clearly or any anyone has a problem? Yeah, voice is audible. It is it is problem with someone else here. Your problem, your problem. That is not my problem. Because even I have completed the previous session also. So the other students also not uh, mentioned anything. So my from my end it is fine. Maybe from your end you need to check your uh, audio system. Fine, then we'll start. From my end I don't have any problem, guys. See. Now we'll start. Snowflake is a cloud data warehouse which is built on top of three cloud products. So what is this cloud data warehouse? Cloud data warehouse nothing but here. To work with your Snowflake cloud data warehouse, you no need to maintain any physical components like physical servers, data centers, or hard disk or hardware resources anything just you can use your internet and login into the login into the snowflake cloud data warehouse and then start start work on your cloud data warehouse so this is the meaning of this cloud data warehouse this is the meaning of this cloud data warehouse and which is built on top of which is built on top of three cloud products one is AWS, one is Azure, another one is GCP, Google Cloud Platform, AWS, Amazon Web Services. Fine. So why they have built on top of these three cloud products? Now these things are done. We will discuss one by one. We will discuss one by one. Fine. This Snowflake can be Snowflake can be called as a software as a services or SaaS. software as a services or SaaS. this can be used to this can be used to this can be used to this cloud data warehouse can be used to for your multiple business requirements for your multiple business requirement i will tell you how the data will be loaded to the data warehouse but we will we will we will discuss this snowflake cloud data warehouse can be used for the multiple business requirements in your organization or in your project either you can use this snowflake data warehouse can be used for the reporting purpose for the business intelligence purpose for the data analytics project purpose for the data science project purpose or application development purpose so based on the requirement you can use this snowflake cloud data warehouse where you have a data from the different different sources what is this meaning of software as a service means software as a service means as this snowflake is a cloud data warehouse as this snowflake is a cloud data warehouse you no need to install anything you no need to install to maintain to maintain your cloud data warehouse you no need to maintain anything you no need to install 
like any software or hardware or any servers and also there is a virtually no software install or configure or manage ongoing maintenance management upgrades and tuning her handled by snowflake only so as this is a software as a service you no need to buy or you no need to maintain anything from your organization you no need to buy software you no need to buy hardware you no need to manage this cloud data warehouse no no uh, so use human uh, human are required to manage your cloud data warehouse what we need to do to work with the to work with the snowflake cloud data warehouse in our organization just we need to take a just we need to take a subscription from the snowflake company and then start use unlike a traditional data warehouse unlike a traditional data warehouse we no need to buy anything we no need to maintain anything we will discuss what is the traditional data warehouse how it looks like and then what is the difference between both one thing one second one second guys see this is the snowflake so this snowflake is snowflake has built on top of snowflake has built on top of these three cloud products this is gcp this is azure this is aws this is aws so to work with to work with your snowflake we no need to uh, install or configure anything so that this can be called as a software as a service so totally this is a cloud data warehouse coming to the traditional data warehouse coming to the traditional data warehouse to maintain our traditional warehouse traditional data warehouse we need to consider many things and we need to maintain many things here see here first of all to work with the sql server i will take a example as a sql server for traditional data warehouse or on prem servers on prem data warehouse first of all we need to buy sql server we need to buy sql server and then host or install this sql server into one remote physical location physical location and once you build this sql server into remote servers or else in physical servers again to store the data to store the data we need to buy a specific locations specific hard disk locations to store the data either it may be a so based on your data we need to buy a we need to buy a huge space in your physical server suppose if you are loading a data into your sql server data warehouse around 10 tb of data so you need to maintain you need to maintain that like this you need to maintain around 10 tb of space in that physical location in that physical locations that is one part fine to execute or to process your data to execute or to process your data you need to be have the your hardware resources you need to be have the hardware resources like ram cpu motherboard like that fine you need to have that hardware resources to monitor or to check those hardware resources we should be having a network engineers we should be having a network engineers and also to manage your on prem server or your sql server we should be having the multipage multiple database administrators also multiple administrators also 
explain what if what if suppose what if suppose we have built we have built around 10 tb of space in your physical server 10 tb of space 10 tb of space built in your physical servers to load the to store the data of your business suppose let's consider once this 10 tb of space is completed suppose if 10 tb of space is completed 10 tb of space is completed then again you need to manually come into this hard disk and then you need to increase you need to increase you need to increase your hard disk so for that your existing hardware resources are not sufficient again you need to your network engineers will take care and then upgrade the hardware resources so based on the requirement based on the request if the existing configuration if the existing configuration not sufficient in your on prem servers in your traditional data warehouse we need to take care and we need to upgrade the resources to next level to handle your sql server data warehouse so we have a many challenges here many challenges here and also many things need to be taken care and many things need to be maintained manually maintained manually and also this on prem servers and then this sql server data warehouse until 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 you 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 suppose once once you build once you build this sql server data warehouse uh, it will be it will be up and run until you down the system until you down the system it will be up and down for the 365 days if you want to down the system manually you need to down and then work on the things work on suppose if you want to increase if you want to increase any hardware resources if you want to increase your hard disk if you want to update the software if you want to update the patches so you need to manually down the system and then work on that work on that until until you manually down the system this system this traditional data warehouse will be up and down for the complete full year for the complete full year so we have a so many challenges we have so many challenges to maintain your to maintain your uh, on prem servers to overcome all these things to overcome all these things we have a snowflake cloud data warehouse we have a snowflake cloud data warehouse where instead of your organization all these maintenance instead of your organization all these maintenance snowflake company will take care snowflake company will take care your organization or you no need to take care anything or you no need to monitor or manage or maintain anything on behalf of you or your organization entire snowflake company will take care suppose if the hardware if the storage component needs need to be extended if the hardware resources are need to be managed or upgraded everything everything on behalf of you on behalf of you your snowflake company will take care only thing what your organization need to do just they need to take a subscription from the snowflake and then start use so based on the uses based on the uses the snowflake company will charge or cost to your organization that's it you no need to you no need to maintain anything here you no need to maintain anything here you just need to take a you just need to take a subscription from the subscription from the snowflake company and then start use so coming to the what is data warehouse coming to the what is data warehouse whether it is a cloud data warehouse whether it is a traditional data warehouse see this traditional this see data warehouse nothing but is this is a data this is a sql server on prem data warehouse this data warehouse will be having the this data warehouse will be having the data from the different different sources data from the different different sources either it is a files either it is a web application either it is from a oltp system everything will be loaded a data into your data warehouse using a etl tool or using a 
functionality available in the within the system so this data warehouse is the collection of the data from the different different data warehouse and this data warehouse will be having the huge volume of data from the different sources and then this data warehouse will process the used data and then we can able to as i mentioned earlier you can able to use this data warehouse for the different different purposes and then you can able to analyze and then you can able to deliver or report the data using your data warehouse the same thing see here in your on prem servers even in your on prem servers you can able to you can able to load the data into your sql server data warehouse using etl tools or from wait system into your sql server on prem server same like in snowflake also we can able to load we can able to load the data we can able to load the data into your snowflake from anyone this cloud provider anyone from this cloud provider if you have a data into your uh, any uh, files you will be loaded those files into a, this cloud products and then the data will be loaded into this snowflake and also if you want to load the data using a etl tool using a etl tool you can able to one second yeah if 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 you want to load the data into your snowflake from the different source using etl tool you can use utl tool also or else you can load the data from this cloud providers into a snowflake cloud providers into a snowflake so this is a high level discussion of what is snowflake and then what is the difference between the cloud data warehouse and then on prem data warehouse any doubts here guys basic yes, definition sure. of just just the yeah please proceed yeah yeah uh, the question is uh, as for the snowflake uh, we are uh, processing the data let us take an example the source of a uh, flat and uh, oltp we are processing the data through snow uh, snowflake right yeah uh, am i we are processing the data through snowflake from uh, any one of you are using any one of the cloud web services like we can use any one of aws or uh, azure or gcp any one of them we are using one of the cloud and we are processing the data to respect to database am i correct yeah okay the same thing instead of snowflake we, we can use etl tool in the cloud in the uh, AWS uh, in this cloud, any one of the cloud, you can use the like SSIS or Informatica, whatever uh, the ETL tool. We can use the ETL tool and we can process the data to respect to database like SQL Server warehouse. We, we can do that also. Yeah, you can, can do. It. So you are comparing with the on-prem and then Snowflake. What yeah, what I mean to say? What I mean to say? yes we are loading a data into this cloud products and then load the data into snowflake this is one approach we have another approach also apart from this you can connect it to snowflake with the any etl tool and then load the data into the snowflake so uh, this is my i have a question i have a follow one second one second one second one second one second okay general questions will be have general questions we will be having after discussion of the session fine i will give you enough time and then we will discuss general questions now just i ask you you are clear on snowflake definition and then difference between the traditional data warehouse and the cloud data warehouse yes we, we can sorry yeah yeah sure. we, uh, the snowflake definition we can consider it as a data warehouse Cloud data warehouse. In simple terms, yeah, cloud data warehouse. Okay. Yeah, are are we going to cover both Snowflake and Cloud ETL in the coming sessions? No, we are we are uh, as part of this course. I am going to I am going to complete a this uh, 
snowflake cloud data warehouse development concepts not an etl concepts that is different again uh, okay there are no we are, going to, we are going to cover we are going to cover this this, this scenario yeah got it are you going to cover the data lake and data scientist and data analytics as a part of the data that that guys 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 we will discuss as part of we will discuss general questions uh completion of the uh, session end of the session fine uh and end of the session so this is about the uh, difference between the cloud data warehouse and the traditional data warehouse so so what are the what are the great features are available what are the great features are available in snowflake so we have a comparing to other data warehouses we have a very good features in snowflake so which are not there in other cloud data warehouse we will see one by one in a high level the great performance and the scalability yes i can say the snowflake cloud data warehouse is having a very good performance improvement as in the snowflake architecture they have built like the storage component and then hardware component they have separated there is no dependency between the storage component and the hardware component and also the data is going to store in a micro partitions in a very optimized way and then the data is going to store in column format these things are helping us to have a very good performance in snowflake so all these things whatever i have mentioned the terminologies i am going to discuss in detail as part of the course and what is the scalability scalability nothing but so whenever you want you can suspend whenever you can whenever whenever you want you want you can suspend the session and whenever you want you can resume the session so by doing this you can able to save the cost to your organization by doing this you can able to save the cost to organization so what is the zero management as i mentioned earlier you need to take a subscription from the snowflake and you no need to or your organization no need to manage anything so that i can say this is a zero management what about this convenient pricing as i mentioned earlier whenever you want you can able to suspend whenever you want you can able to resume this snowflake and also second thing is continuously if you are not using for a particular time automatically this will be going to a suspension mode whenever this goes into a suspension mode whenever this goes into a suspension mode then you are going to you are going to save the cost to your organization so that is the beautiful feature is available in the snowflake that is convenient pricing what about this virtual compute warehouse virtual compute warehouse is the hardware resource to hardware resource to your snowflake so this is a very good concept and we are going to discuss in detail about this one virtual compute warehouse what is the purpose of this virtual compute warehouse what are the different types of virtual compute warehouses are, are there in which scenario the what type of virtual compute warehouse is going to use we are going to discuss all these things in as part of our regular course and what is this undrop statement suppose if any table or any database is deleted from the snowflake using this undrop statement directly you can able to restore that object no need to like uh, do the manual things like uh, backup or restore those things under not record all these things using a just simple undrop statement you can able to you can able to restore the original object next object cloning this is very much important in object cloning see suppose if you are working for a production environment dev environment and then qa environment if you want to copy a data from the production environment into novel environments in regular approach what we will do we will do the backup and restore so here we no need to all these things just using a cloning word you can able to copy the objects and then restore the 
things wherever you want so that is a very good feature available in the snowflake what about the semi structured data you can able to rather than a traditional data you can able to process the data semi structured data into your snowflake either a json either a xml file what is this time travel this time travel is the one of the beautiful feature in snowflake like suppose if any data particular data is manipulated from your table manipulated from your table unfortunately suppose knowingly or without knowingly you have done the manipulations to your table so once you done the manipulations if you have done the data validations if you came to know that you have done the wrong manipulations you want to restore the original data into your object then you can able to use time travel concept on the fly so that is a one of the beautiful feature this cdc and then task to load the incremental data and then to schedule the tasks this data sharing is also one of the very good how do we load that how do we share the data in snowflake which is very different and then very comfortable and then the snow pipe is one of the object in the snowflake to make the data load automatically automatic process so these are the very good features which are available in the snowflake and then not there in the any other data warehouse so this is about a course content what we are going to discuss as part of our session so whatever i am going to mention in this content the all these are snowflake development course related topics so we are going to discuss all these topics as part of our course and i am going to target i am going to target 35 classes to complete this entire snowflake mentioned course content the prerequisite for this course is if you have a sql knowledge if you have a sql knowledge then it will be added advantage to you if you don't have a sql knowledge then as part of the course i am going to explain you the sql i am going to explain you the sql concepts fine so this is the course content and how the career opportunities in the market on the snowflake now majority of the projects majority of the projects migrating from on prem servers in pa on prem data warehouse in pa snowflake cloud data warehouse so market has a very demanding and the supply has a the supply is very less compared to demand fine the market is looking for a very good snowflake developers if really you are a very good snowflake developer you have a very good opportunities in the market you have a very good opportunities in the market so compare it to the package also compare it to other technologies you will get a very good package on the snowflake requirement snowflake requirement so what are the courses are available what are the courses are available on the snowflake or so once you complete this course you can able to target or complete snow pro course certification snow pro course certification remaining courses under advanced certification once you get a hands on experience you can able to once you get a hands on experience you can able to attempt to those certifications so what are the roles and responsibilities when you join as a snowflake developer as i mentioned currently currently a migration projects are going as part of the migration you will be working you will be working to load the data from on prem servers in the snowflake cloud data warehouse and you will be working to migrate the sql code or sql objects or whatever the stored process function you will be working to migrate the code from on prem data warehouse in the public data warehouse so this is a high level roles and response to what we are going to work once we get the job as a 
developer. So majorly, currently, the projects are going on Microsoft uh, on uh, Snowflake is my vision projects. They are organizations are migrating from on-prem servers into cloud database. As part of this, we are going to work or you are going to work on the migration projects. So what are the opportunities we have in the market? What are the opportunities we have in the market on the Snowflake? You can you can apply as a Snowflake developer, Snowflake data engineer, cloud data engineer, Snowflake data analyst, data scientist. Once you complete the session, once you complete the course, so you can able to apply all these jobs in the market. So apart from this course content, apart from this course content, apart from this course content. Once this course is completed, we are going to provide you a resume preparation assistance, interview prepared preparation assistance, and high level explanation on the project how it will be. So these things we are going to cover as part of the course. So this is about the today's high level introduction on Snowflake guys. Now, if you have any doubts, then you can ask me now. If you have any doubts, you can ask me now. From tomorrow onwards, same time 7 a.m., we are going to start our regular, our regular uh, classes. So, Shekhar, what days the session will be offered? Seven days a week, or it will be five days a week. Five days a week. And, and how long the session would be every day? An hour or or hour plus? Hour, one hour. An hour. So I have a question. You you mentioned earlier the data warehouse uh, and the data science and the uh, the very first. So I I I told I told you. We can use this cloud data warehouse for the different different purposes based no, on the request. Can you go back to the, the slide number one where you show the introduction where the, uh, you, you show one, huh? that SaaS solution yeah. and it offers the yes. This one, huh? So are you going to go over the data lake and data engineering and data science and all these pieces individually or you are just gonna cover it at a high level because each of these pieces has I am, I'm, as, as, as part of the course i'm going to i'm going as part of the course i'm going to discuss the mentioned topics so this is a, a snowflake uh, data warehouse development class as part of this class i am going to discuss all these topics okay all right thanks any so other question uh, yeah Shekhar, uh, you mean to say that the crack and interview this uh stuff is uh, good sorry yeah uh as you said right uh, to crack the interview the given stuff all these uh, is uh good it's fine that this is enough yes So the topics that you are showing on the screen right now, are you going to go over each one of them in detail? Yes. Okay. All right. That is for every year, for every component, like as you mentioned in the. Uh, correct, correct. For every year, every year, uh, every year. Yeah. Uh, on every component that we are going to cover on real time, like scenario, right? Correct. Okay. Is there any specific uh, database that we need to work on this on Snowflake? In a Snowflake database, like we are not using? in a specific database to learn this uh, Snowflake course. If you have a knowledge on any SQL knowledge, any SQL, okay, that will be added at one yeah, It will be uh, common across all this. Correct. Yeah. Uh, by the end of the session, every session that uh, you could hear this, uh, 
then Shashank, what you are going to explain and all this. You will have all these. Sorry. Videos. Sorry. The videos and the snaps that what we are discussing in the session, right? Yeah, yeah. Videos, right? videos will be provided by Institute. From my end, I am going to share the material and then whatever we are going to institute the code as part of the course, I am going to share that code and the material. So, do you offer any advanced training in the other courses, other certifications like the advanced architect or the data engineer as part of that, the that's what That's what, once we complete this course, we can able to target the Snowpro course at get. Right. No, no, I, I understand that. So, my, my question was that does your institute offer any kind of training beyond that? Uh, code certification. No. No. Okay. Thank you. Uh, hi, Shekhar. Uh, my name is Kishore. <coughs> yeah. Question is: uh, 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 In the last slide, you shown a Snowflake developer administrator. Like, uh, how it will be Snowflake admin? No, 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 no. Snowflake administrator is different to uh, course content. If I mentioned that, that is wrong here. Actually, I need to remove that. Snowflake administrator is different. We need to remove this Snowflake administrator and then Snowflake architect is uh, that different because uh, Snowflake administrator is completely different. Now we are discussing on uh, development here. Okay. I need to I need to make a correction over there. Thank you, sir. Snowflake administrator, and then whatever we are going to discuss, this is a development. Both are the entirely different. We can't compare. So, while you are training, okay. you are going to take us through the SQL side, uh, Snow side uh, in Snowflake, and show us all the commands and the processing. Correct. Okay, all right. That's what I'm looking forward. Yeah, Chika. as for the course content once completed right? the role will be as a snowflake developer or uh, and uh, snowflake developer. only these two only right the roles will be can snowflake developer snowflake data engineer or data engineer data scientist the designation will be different the work whatever you are going to do the same thing different organizations are using the different uh, designations data scientists okay. Okay, and the work will be what you are learning will be common to across all sorry yeah the course that what we are learning this content really comes uh, common to all uh, roles right what is correct 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 so uh your policy is that we cannot ask you any question during the lecture or and we should wait towards the end is that Sorry? that that we cannot ask you any question in the middle of the lecture we should no, wait. no 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 not like that why why i have why i have those no 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 no, no, no not and, like that. and that's what i want to make sure that you don't embarrass me again like that no, you can you can ask me in between of the sessions if you don't understand why I have mentioned today is we will be having the see as this is the first session many people will be having the n number of questions in between if we start discussion on the general questions the discussion will be interrupted so that I mentioned whoever and whatever the general questions will be having that will be discussed end of the session that's it but while regular sessions while discussing on the xyz concept if any one of you don't understand on that particular xyz concept in between you can stop me and then ask me the question then i am fine to clarify your doubts okay i don't uh, i will respectfully follow your policy i just wanted to clearly understand that how things work that's oh, fine i am i am comfortable with the students mindset and students requirement okay that is fine yeah 
anything else hey sekar uh, during the training like which cloud uh, source you are going to use aws or uh, i am going Azure? to use aws and then i am going to use aws and then snowflake okay okay uh, as a source system correct okay and uh, like one more uh, like i am currently working uh, informatica so uh, it is having in relation snowflake like uh, any like i'll be getting any work like informatica plus migrating to snowflake uh, like that see informatica is the etl tool yeah we are not focusing on to etl tool here we are going to discuss only development part so etl tool yes. is used to connect the source to target yeah source to target but that will be added advantage if you learn this course along with if you you explore the knowledge on etl with hmm. problem then it will be added advantage okay okay like uh, like what i was asking is in future like if when i am applying job like it will be my informatica will be added advantage you can you, you can mention as here you have a experience on snowflake and the etl you use mm -hmm. info that informatica right yeah yeah you used informatica to load the data yeah of different sources to snowflake you used oh. informatica like the etl so in our okay. added okay okay yeah yeah thank you ah uh, shekhar one more question um currently working in integration with sql database administration so how it will be in full personal like currently, currently working as a sql administrator huh? yes why can't you go to the snowflake administrator not with this development okay uh, i thought this will cover entire thing no 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 how come see even in your sql server at pinna yes yes see in your your in your sql server also there is a development part is different admin part is different right uh, yes 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 so like that like that also here also the development part is different the admin part we are into development part okay fine 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 so valuable only right and we put resume uh, this can added be advantage no better to focus on uh, snowflake db and not into development it will be fetching to your uh, career yes yes this is this is this 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 course is not suitable to your career and your profile okay okay so the shaker one more question are you going to touch about how the code is migrated across different environments during this course i will show you a couple of store folders okay yeah all right uh shikhar one more question uh are we applying any like uh, internal transformations in snowflake Yeah, we will apply transformation this in Snowflake. Okay, it's one like uh, like Snowflake independent transformation, right? Yes. And then one more like how much experience uh, we can go Snowflake into market? I have five five point one years of experience. Two to three, uh, two to three years experience. Two to three years experience you can manage. Okay. But this is like one small question. This is like you know, like an idea, like the streaming data of stream sets, uh, like ETL tool. It is an open uh, uh, source tool, and you know, like ETL tool, right? Same how we are doing, like we are doing, like uh, source to target. We are loading the data instead of that in uh, using Snowflake. We are uh, directly uh, loading the data, respective source to same thing, same process. We are applying here also through cloud, okay. cloud mechanism. Correct. Okay. Thank you, Shikhar.
any doubt in generally we have an interview part of like uh, snowflake concepts and data warehouse and uh, data, uh, database and that's yes. it is only right uh, yeah. correct Fine guys, we will meet tomorrow at 7 a.m. Fine. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you, thank, thank you, 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 you,